Yeah, big energy, this high elevation and winning, they thought they could finish me. Big energy, next level, the place that I'm finna be, time to go get it, see. Big energy, when you up in so much, you go harder, regardless, we gotta eat. Big energy, how you get to the top and don't fold under pressure, that's energy. Big energy, this high elevation. Please don't be fooled by these niggas stunting on the gram and doing all of that shit. And all of these rappers and just anybody. Niggas in the neighborhood, don't be fooled by these niggas, man. Stick to your hustle and work hard. Everybody ain't balling like they say they is, man. A lot of these niggas scrapping, scratching, scrambling, scamming. Be thankful. You don't want what them niggas got. Niggas playing the game. Niggas trying to keep up. You don't want to be like them niggas playing the keep up game. Trying to keep up and impress niggas who don't even fucking know them. Who don't even fucking care about them. You're doing great. As long as you getting up every day working towards something in your future, you're doing great. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most how to woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it look like out here real quick, man. Look at that. The sun is up, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? We rose up with it, man. So we big winning. We big winning. We big energy. We big blast. Nothing less. You know, so make sure you get out there and do something great with yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you brilliant. Understand, man, we are brilliant and resilient, you know? So we got to get out here and act like it and do things like it, you know? Because, listen, we didn't came a long way, man, at the end of the day. You know, but that's why I wanted y'all to uh, see that clip posted by Blue Fox. Shout out to Blue Fox and them always posting them good clips. You know, and shout out to Benny the Butcher for keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? In that clip, man. If you ever see him, you know, he always just dropping gems and stuff like that, man. You know, you know. so shout out to him and the Griselda crew, you know, because they doing big things, man. But, you know, it's just like he said, man. You know, you know, just don't be, you know, don't allow social media or, or the people that you see in your town or whatever send you off. Don't allow anybody to send you off and have you out here thinking less of yourself. You know, have you out here coveting, have you out here chasing the things that you see other people have. You know what I'm saying? Because you really don't know their story. You know, you don't know what they are doing to get these things. And it's just like he said, a lot of people are playing catch up. A lot of people are playing keep up with the Joneses and they going broke behind it. You know what I'm saying? They're going broke behind it. And a lot of times, man, you know, it's just weird activity because when you look on social media, it's just like a bunch of dudes trying to impress other dudes. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think it's really about, you know, the females like that anymore. You know, it used to be to where, you know, guys would be doing all of this extra stuff to attract these women and all that. And you still have a lot of that, too. You know what I'm saying? You still have a lot of that, too. But a lot of people are just playing catch up. You know, just trying to keep up with this person, that person, this trend, that trend, man. And listen, bro, that's a, you know, that's 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 not a good life to live. You know what I mean? You know how stressed out you got to be. You know what I'm saying? That you're going to be, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep up with everybody else. You know what I mean? Spending money that you don't have, bro. You're not able to stack. You know what I mean? And then you just, the only thing that you are stacking is lies on top of lies. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all that's all you doing out there when you fooling yourself, when you putting up these facades and out here stunting. You know what I'm saying? Like you really got it when you really don't, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like who wanna live like that, man? But at the same time, a lot of people do. A lot of people do, man, and they not in their truth. A lot of people do, and they not in their truth. You know, and anytime you're not in your truth, bruh, listen, man. What we say, bruh, you living a lie. You know what I'm saying? And lie, one lie begets more lies. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, you just got to stay close to the most high. You know, put the most high first in everything, bro. Because, you know, when you in this world, bro, you're going to put the world first, bro. When you in this world, you know, and you trying to, you know, live a lifestyle, you know, that this world wants you to live, then guess what, bro? You're going to be doing worldly things. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's never going to be something that's really edifying to you. It's never going to be something that's purposeful. You know, it's never going to be something that's really, you know, 
you know, just giving, you know what I mean? To not only yourself, but the people around you. It's, 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 it's nothing that feeds your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're never doing nothing that feeds your spirit when you out here lying and stunting and grunting and doing all of that other BS. You know what I'm saying? That's getting you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's doing, bro. It's really getting you nothing, bro. Because it ain't no future in your front end. You know, but it's just like he said, man, you're doing great, man. As long as you working towards something in your life, you waking up every day, you putting in work, you know, you in your truth, you in your light, you feeling good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You praising the most high, you know, you thankful, you grateful for everything that you have. Listen, bro, that's all that matter, bro. And you and it's just a matter of time, you know. Before you before you hit these these levels and goals that you want to hit, bro, it's just a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? But that's why the most high want us to have patience, bro. You know, patience is really a fruit of the spirit because when you lose patience, guess what, bro? You know, you're going to be out there just like these stunting mugs who didn't stick to their process. You know what I mean? They didn't stick to the, mo the the plan that the most high had for them. So now, guess what, bro? They out here in other people's lanes. You know what I'm saying? They out here flogging, faking. You know what I'm saying? Acting like they making, but they really ain't, bro. You know what I'm saying? They really ain't, man. You know? But, you know, they lost patience, man. That's why you got to really, you really got to keep that, man, and, and stick with it. Stick to your guns, man. You know, because that's one thing social media will do, bro. When you looking at, when you stay on there and you letting that infect you and you watching everybody else live their so-called lives, man, listen, bro. If you're not solid in your truth, if you're not solid in faith, you're going to let that affect you, bro. You know, you're going to let that make you feel less of yourself, bro. And that's crazy to me. That's crazy when you know you out here putting in all of this work, but you allowing social media to make you feel less than. You allowing these celebrities to make you feel less than. You allowing society to make you feel less than. You allowing people in your community to make you feel less than, bro. And what you're not realizing is anybody could be anything on social media. You know what I'm saying? And then when you try you when you trying to be like these celebrities, understand that a lot of them, that's who he talking about in that clip. A lot of these rappers that you see, you know what I'm saying? You hear more about more and more about a lot of these guys going broke, you know, because they thought that 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 little money that they had was going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, a lot of them sold they sold so they got they got all of this money. They signed on that dotted line and they got all that money. You know what I'm saying? From you know, from these demonic elites, you know what I mean? And you know how Satan work, bro. He give it all to you just to watch you crash and burn. And that's what a lot of people do, and they crashing and burning. Why you think a lot of these mugs doing all these drugs, you know what I'm saying, that's in the entertainment industry, bro? Why you think they Why you think they be having mental issues, bro? You know, because they once had it, they once had it all. They had a different plan. But, you know, Satan's plan is never the right plan. Satan's plan is death. Satan's de uh, Satan's plan is darkness. Satan's plan is to never uh, is to never watch you really excel, bro. He'll put you he'll put you in front of the he'll put you in in front just to watch for everybody else to just watch you watch you you know implode, watch you explode, watch you uh, just fold, bro. You know what I mean? He will put you in front of people just to just to see just so just out of his own entertainment, bro. You know what I'm saying? For his own entertainment, man. So it's like, bro, it ain't always what you think, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it ain't always what you think, man. And you don't know what these mugs doing to, to keep up with that lifestyle. You know, because just like he said, you got people scamming. You got some of these hoes out here hoeing. You know what I mean? They they they, they selling they self. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people just don't get it. But that's why the uh, Most High wants you committed. People just don't get it. But the Most High wants you committed, committed to Him. You know what I'm saying? And when you committed to Him and His Word and the truth, bruh, guess what, bruh? He gonna make it do what it do for you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? He gonna use your, your, your abilities, the abilities that He gave you. You know what I'm saying? To propel you. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you ain't gonna have to be trying to keep up with anybody bro when you locked in with the most high all you need to do is keep up with with with, with the things that he tell you to do 
All you need to do is keep up with staying obedient. All you need to do is keep up in this word. All you need to do is keep up in the light, keep up in the truth. You know what I'm saying? And continue to be you because he created you and nobody else to be like you, you know? And that's where people get it messed up, bro. They, they, they want to be like somebody else. Why you want to be like somebody else when the most high created you? You saying he made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? You saying he messed up. He didn't mess up when he created you. You know? So why 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 we on a broad path doing all all everybody doing the same thing? Why you why you think the rap game so messed up? You know what I'm saying? You know, you think about every industry, you know, when it when it come to, you know, every genre, different genre of music. You know, the most chaotic, the most deaths. You know what I'm saying? The most hating. You know what I mean? It's all in the hip hop industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all it's always in the hip hop. It's always in the in the hip hop, bro. You don't see a lot of the things that's going on in hip hop. You don't see that going on in country music. You don't see that going on in rock and roll, alternative rock. You don't see that going on. You don't see that going on in R and B. You know what I'm saying? Well, now you do, cause R and B chain. Now the R and B, now the R and B mugs, gangsters. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you know, it's sad when you think about it, bro. You know what I mean? But either way, man, we just got to do better, man, at the end of the day. We just got to do better, man, and, and stop looking at how other people live and understand that we doing exactly what we supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important for us to stay on our purpose, stay on our grind, you know, stay in our process. You know what I'm saying? And don't waste time. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things out here that'll make you waste your time, bro. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to be out here wasting time and energy on things that's getting you nowhere. You know, and I had to really open my eyes to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some stuff just is like, you know what? I got to do something different. You know what I mean? I got to do something different. There's too many people on this broad path. There's too many people in this lane. You know what I'm saying? There's too many people fighting and doing all of that stuff, bro. You know, every, everybody fighting for a spot. You know what I mean? And, that, and then don't nobody want to see the next person come up. Don't nobody want to see the next person come up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really important for you to find different things to do other than what you see everybody else else doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I see the writing on the wall for a lot of cats, man. You know, and it's unfortunate, bro, because we we meant to do a lot. We could do a lot of a lot of different things, man. You know what I'm saying? We could do so many different things, bro. The most high bless us with so many gifts. But instead, we do what this world wants us to do. We do what the crowd wants us to do. And guess what, bro? It's just like the rap game, man. It's just oversaturated. You know, mugs out here trying to get over on the next, hating on the next, mugs getting locked up, all this stuff, bro. You know, and mugs trying to keep up, bro, with lifestyles that they don't have no more, really. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you look at these guys and you think about wanting to be what they would be like them or have what they have, man, a lot of them robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them robbing Peter to pay Paul. I Listen, bro, I need my peace. That's not a peaceful lifestyle. You know what I mean? These cats then got money and then and bought all of these things, but never figured out how to keep the money. That's probably one of the hardest things to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get the money, but how do you keep it? You know, that's why Satan deceive a lot of these cats that get all of this money and they wind up filing for bankruptcy. They, they wind up broke. They wind up on drugs. They wind up in jail. You know what I'm saying? They wind up with tax issues and all that other stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's because they wasn't, the, the most high didn't bless him with that. That's why. That's why they lose it, bro. You know, or the most high did bless them with it, but you know, they forsake the most high. A lot of people get that money and forsake the most high. That's why scripture says it's very hard for a rich man to make it into the kingdom, bro. Because a lot of times people get that money and then they let it corrupt them. You know, a lot of times people get that money and then they, you know, they turn their back on the most high. A lot of times people get that money and they start indulging in evil things, demonic things, negative energy and all that stuff. 
You know, a lot of times people get that money and they don't take care of home. They don't give. And anytime you don't give, then guess what, bro? You bound to lose what you got. You know what I'm saying? Because charity cover a multitude of sins. The most high want us to give willingly, cheerfully. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't doing none of that, then listen, bro. Like, you know, that's what that's what that's what land cats in these in these bad situations, bro. That's why we seeing so many crash and burn. That's why so many things getting brought out to the light. And a lot of these guys we was idolizing. That's why we're not supposed to have idols, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're not supposed to be on that, bro. Listen, bro. The Most High is a very jealous God. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once you start idolizing, you know, all of these different things, bro, you're idolizing your, your, your cars, you're idolizing your clothes, you're idolizing these hoes, you're idolizing celebrities, you idolizing, you can, you can make anything a, a false idol. You can make anything an idol, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, the most high ain't gonna honor that, bro. You know, you do that, man. Listen, bro, he gonna you gonna get chastised. You know what I mean? You get get ready, get ready for tribulation, cause it's coming your way. You know what I'm saying? But either way, we gotta stay locked in, man. Let's stay focused, man, and, and understand, bro. You doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? So don't let social media send you off. You know what I mean? Don't let money change you. Don't let don't let none of that stuff make you just be doing things that's out of the ordinary, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like stay like really stay humble. I, I've been seeing a lot of videos where you got people talking about no, nah, stay you know talking against being humble and all that other stuff. Like that's a bad thing. How is that a bad thing? You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have work to put in work for the things that you have. But, you know, that doesn't mean that, oh, you need to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the most high want us to be meek out here. You know what I'm saying? That scripture, he want us meek out here. He don't want us all boastful, all puffed up. You know what I mean? And a lot of these guys that's yelling all of that, forget being humble, this and that, this and that. A lot of them guys is the ones that he talked about. You know what I'm saying? The ones that once had it all and and, and now, look, they, they fighting, they struggling. You know what I mean? They trying to keep up. You know, they feel resentment in their heart. You know what I'm saying? They they got they they got hateful tendencies and stuff like that, bro. A lot of these cats. You know, so they still wanting to wanting to play this game and put up a facade and had this attitude that then kept them, which which is the reason why they got knocked down. You know what I'm saying? So, man, listen, just just keep acknowledging the most high in all his ways, all his marvelous ways, man. And you know what, man? Everything gonna work out for you eventually you just got to keep going bro you know you just got to keep going bro never stop never quit because we too legit all right and that's my word man my name jason the sand take holla y'all later man peace